What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. This right here is going to be another Gray Zone Warfare video. Listen, I want to go into a few things that have kind of been on my mind about things they need to implement in the game to make it be successful because I have a lot of hours in Escape from Tarkov and a couple other extraction type realistic shooters. And there are a few things that these games don't have that I really hope is implemented in Gray Zone Warfare. So I'm just going to hop into the list. And again, there's a lot of things that could make or break this game, but here are a few things they really need to nail home in order for me and a lot of people like myself to find enjoyment and longevity in this type of game. It's going to be a sandbox open world shooter where every move matters. They've already stated that. They've stated things like when you die, you have one hour to get back to your body to get to loot your stuff. So that's kind of the first thing I wanted to touch on. So imagine in a gaming world where every step you take, it could be your last, where the tension is always accelerated, the stakes are high, and that's basically the essence of Gray Zone Warfare. The game is designed to make you feel nerve-wracked, and ultimately when you do experience consequences when you die, it needs to matter. I have a lot of hours in Escape from Tarkov and there's I've never played a full wipe because however the economy is at some point I hit a wall of me going into raids and doing the experience of PvP and maybe killing a few bosses don't really affect me because I'm not afraid to die. I have things like insurance, I have my teammates, I have avenues out to get my stuff back and the raids I am successful with it's just adding to that that net worth of stash value so it doesn't really affect me if I start to die in raids so I eventually quit playing the game. I think probably just looking at this game from the outside, I would rank this as the number one most important factor in this game when it comes to player retention. When you die, you need to not like it throughout the whole game. You need to not enjoy it. You need to, it needs to matter to stay alive. I don't care if they implement missions where if you go in with squads, your whole squad has to survive to get a mission complete. You, you can't just do it with people dying and then you know you have to do it as a unit. I do not believe any form of insurance should be in this game. I think if you die, you need to try to get back to your body if you're lucky or your teammates need to try to bring it out and bring it into you next raid. So that's very important to me and a, and a few other people that I've talked to. It's going to be important how you perceive dying in this game. Let's go into the second thing. There needs to be some type of revolutionary AI. I know that they've already talked about how the AI is going to have their own missions. They're not going to always be in the same places. I think that's crucial. When I'm thinking of things like Escape from Tarkov, when I'm trying to kill Sherman or trying to kill certain scab bosses, they're always in certain areas. Yeah, they'll move around, but if they can actually go through the map and do things and you don't know exactly where they are, I think that's going to be huge. I don't think they need to just be pushing you all the time and intentionally dying. I know they've covered this. Don't come at me in the comments. I already know this. I know they said they're going to be fearful if they're outnumbered and things like that. I think that's crucial to AI. With it being a PvE focused game, the AI needs to be top notch. In a PvE focused world, Grey Zone Warfare, the AI is, is nothing short of groundbreaking. It, it, it seems like, hopefully, but imagine enemies adapting to tactics, learning from your mistakes, and constantly challenging you. It's not just about survival, it's about outsmarting the AI as well. That learns and evolves with the map as people play it. So I think that's crucial, and a lot of their time hopefully has been put towards implementing that, because that's going to be a primary focus in the game, how the AI acts, basically. And it absolutely needs to be prioritized. Another thing I want to talk about is the potential role playing and realistic elements of the game. Gray Zone Warfare is not just about mindless shooting. It's a world where role playing matters. It seems like there's going to be different tactical application with your squad mates, whether you have medics, recon, you know, door kicker type of gun builds and characters. Weight is going to play a lot of a role in this and how you move through the map. Every decision you make, every interaction you have is going to shape the narrative of the character and the world, basically. And I know they focused on that, but it needs to absolutely be a factor when it comes to playing the game. For example, let's not forget the visceral and realistic elements that they're talking about with the blood, including the potential system of blood types that I've talked about in this recent video right here. These factors are going to elevate the immersion, making every decision feel weighty and significant to some degree. If I'm playing with four people and one of my friends is bleeding out or needs some type of medical attention, are we going to cancel the mission? Are we going to go do this or that? It needs to have that feel of always trying to adapt and evolve with the landscape around you and what's happening to your team. So teamwork, to some degree, seems to be kind of the backbone of Grey Zone Warfare. Similar to games like Ready or Not, successful missions are going to require seamless coordination and strategic planning and needs to more or less require flawless execution. Again, I don't want people to be dying and it just be like, oh, that's OK, get my stuff or I'll be back. It needs to mean something every single time you do a mission. So I want to close with this. 
like I said, I've had many hours in Escape from Tarkov and I play with about four or five buddies pretty consistently. And like I said, it always comes to a point where everybody's kind of doing their own thing. Everybody's kind of having this task or that task. Somebody just has to go run and do something and they don't really care if they die. They might have to loot this or loot that and everybody's on a different page. So again, gaming with people and gaming with friends, I want this to have some sort of ultimate common goal every single time you're in the game. Grey Zone Warfare has the potential to not just be a game, but a gaming revolution when it comes to that stuff. Nerve wracking gameplay, revolutionary AI, role playing depth like I'm talking about, emphasis and teamwork to set it apart in this type of genre. So ultimately, I'm very excited for it. And it seems like they're doing a very good job. But these are the few things that they really need to make sure is implemented well for it to have long term success. I appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have not already, I'll be making plenty of more Grey Zone videos in the future. With that being said, I will catch you on the next one. Appreciate it.